In today's video, we're talking about when should you cancel your Fegley? We're going to be looking at what Fegley costs at different ages, and then look at what outside insurance policies would cost at Standard Health and Preferred Health. So if you have Fegley and you've been thinking about canceling it, stick around for this video. Hey, this is Mel Stubbs. I'm a financial planner at Christie Capital Management, where we're helping federal employees plan better for their retirement. Today, we're talking about Federal Employee Group Life Insurance, also known as Fegley. This is something where usually when you start your career, people load up on it because it's cheap. But then as you age through your career, it gets more and more expensive. And so for a lot of people, they're trying to figure out, when should I cancel it? Well, for the purpose of this discussion, we have the assumption that your health is pretty good. If you're going to try to qualify for life insurance on the outside with a life insurance company, the assumption is with this video is that you either can get standard health or preferred health. If you have health conditions that would cause you know, life insurance to be super expensive for you on the outside, then Fegley may be a good option for you to just keep. Because with Fegley, there's no health screening. If you're an employee and it's open enrollment, you can get it. But for those of you who are healthy with you know, like pretty average or pretty good health, you may want to look at costs on the outside to determine should you cancel it. So if you jump on their website, OPM has a website with a Fegley calculator. The example here, we're using a $100,000 salary. So this would be option B times five and using option A. Option A is an extra $10,000 of coverage. Option B is going to be five times your salary. And so if you'll see right here, the basic is $102,000. The way basic works is that they round your salary up to the nearest thousand, and then they add 2,000 on top of it. So for this example, there's $714,000 of coverage at age 35, and you can see it costs $26.52 per pay period. So to convert that to a monthly payment, that would be $57.46 per month. You can also see there's an extra $102 of extra benefit because you're so young. If you slide down here, you can see that that extra benefit starts to go down at 36, drops at 37, and then it's totally gone by the time you get 45. If you come down a little bit farther, you can see that the extra 10,000 is costing you 20 cents per pay period when you're under 35. As you can see, it costs you 30 cents per pay period at age 40. Then it doubles to 60 cents at age 45. And you can see how these prices adjust. If we slide down here a little bit more to option B, you can see the prices really make a difference. So for that extra $500,000 of coverage, when you're under 35 years old, it's only $10 per pay period. That $10 per pay period is $21.66 per month. But as you can see at age 40, there's a 50% jump to $15 a pay period. At age 45, it doubles to $30 per pay period. At age 50, you're talking about $50 per pay period. $50 a pay period is $108 per month. If you see at age 55, it's jumping to $90 a pay period. And then at age 60, $200 per pay period. So let's go back and let's just make this person 60 years old right now. Let's see what they'd be paying. You'll see the basic still costs $16.32 per pay period. The basic stays the same your entire career, and it only adjusts at retirement depending on what you select. At age 60, there is no extra benefit. Option A is costing you $6 per pay period. And then there's the option B that now costs you $200 per pay period. So that's a total of $222.32 per pay period, which equates to $481.69 per month. This is for the same coverage you had at age 45, all the way to age 60. But you can see how the price varies a lot. If we go back, let's say that the person is gonna retire with five times option B. You, you can see what the monthly payments turn into. They still have their $102,000 basic, which used to be about $35 a month. Now it's gonna be 264 a month if you don't pick the reduction. The option A becomes free at age 65, and there's kind of like a 75% reduction on that. So you'll get $2,500 of option A for free starting at 65. But if you'd look down here at option B, if you choose to keep the full $500,000, you can see it's gonna cost you $433.50 per month just for that. Over on the right, you can see, you know, starting at age 65 through 69, it jumps to $520 per month. At age 70 to 74, it's gonna cost you $931 a month. Now remember, when that jumps to $520 a month, you still have to pay the basic premium, which would be $264 a month prior to 65, $229 a month afterwards. So in our example, at age 65, you would add $520 plus 229, equaling $749 for the same coverage you had when you were 45. 
Now, one thing as people reach retirement, you may not need the same $700,000 of coverage anymore. And if you do, you know, is there a cheaper way to get it? So for this example, let's look at age 60, getting life insurance on the outside. Uh, at age 60, with Fegley, you're gonna be paying $433.50 for option B, $264 for the basic, and then $13 for option A. So that's gonna add up to $711 that you'd be paying once you retire. At 65, the $13 goes away, option B goes up to 520, the basic drops down to 229, so you're about $750 per month when you retire from ages 65 to 69. Now let's go look at some of the costs on the outside. So here's a cost estimate for a 60-year-old female getting $612,000 worth of coverage. This is the equivalent amount that we're looking at with your Fegley. Now, when you're working, the Fegley costs you about $481 a month, uh, but when you retire, it jumps to $711 a month. You can see here under the standard non-tobacco for a 20-year term, it costs you $337 a month. If you have preferred health, you can see it's $213 a month. Now you'll see over here on the right that if, if you use tobacco, the premiums are, are crazy high, 654 and 835. So it's hard to beat Fegley prices if you smoke. If you can be standard or preferred, you can see that instead of paying 481, you would only be paying somewhere around 213 to 337. These numbers would be a little bit higher if you are a man. Women's life insurance is just a little bit cheaper. Now this is a 20 year term, so it's 20 years of coverage. So at age 60, this would last you till age 80. So do keep in mind that this is not forever insurance, it is just term. You can also see here there's a 10 year option, a 15 year option, and a 20 year option. So the, the shorter the term, the cheaper the prices. Now, if we look at someone doing this at age 65, being retired at age 65, Fegley costs you about $750 a month. But the standard non-tobacco 20 years is 601 preferred would be 424. So you can see these prices are higher because the person's five years older, but the prices are locked in for the full 20 years. With Fegley, every five years, the prices keep going up. And at retirement, it just gets even worse. So with term insurance, you're getting a 20 year term. The premium is the same for all 20 years. So to answer this question, when should you cancel your Fegley? Well, there is the disclaimer that you need to apply for your insurance on the outside, see what you get approved for. You don't just go cancel your Fegley until you've already gotten your approval for the equivalent amount of life insurance that you're happy with that's at a better premium that you like. Only after you get the policy enforced would you then go cancel your Fegley. So to restate the question, when does mathematically it make sense to get other insurance instead of Fegley? Well, we've shown here at age 60, it surely makes sense. If you're about to retire, it makes sense because the prices go up at retirement. And if you do an apples to apples comparison, you know, we compared 612,000 to 612,000 effectively. Now, in the real world, when we're doing these examples, it might be that you don't need the 612,000 anymore. It still makes sense though, if your health is pretty good, to look at costs on the outside to, to lock something in for the entire time of the term. So maybe in this example, the person had 612,000 effectively, but maybe they realize they're, they're paying too much, they look on the outside, you know, they've got the health to get it, but they really only need $500,000 of insurance. Get the amount that you need at the price that makes sense for you, and, and the price will stay the same the entire term. The key takeaway here is, what is your health like? Your health is sort of like your credit report when you're trying to get a loan. If your health is really good, the prices can be much cheaper on the outside. If your health is not good, or if you're a tobacco user, it might be that you can't get it cheaper. Now, what you wanna do is see what the prices are, what they'd be for you, apply somewhere, see what it comes back at, and you'd only cancel your Fegley after you get the approval at a price that you're comfortable with, at a price that you want. And if you want to cancel, here's the form that you do it with. It's SF2817. There are different ways that you can fill out this form. You can keep the basic, but get rid of the other options. You can reduce option B if you want to. So whatever suits you. And you can see up at the top that you'll have to turn this into your employing office and they'll complete the rest of the form for you. And it usually gets removed by the next pay period. Now, some confusion with Fegley cost is that it comes out per pay period. And you've got to remember to take the per pay period price, multiply it by 26 pay periods, then divide by 12 to get a monthly cost so that you can compare apples to apples. In the outside insurance world, you will pay this monthly, not every pay period. If you need help finding out if you can do something better than Fegley and you want us to help with it, go to christycapital.com and click talk to an advisor. We'd love to help you with this. If you want to watch a video, can you use life insurance death benefit while living? Then watch this video right here. 
Life insurance has some additional features like long-term care coverage and other benefits that you may not be aware of, so watch this video. My name is Mel Stubbs. I'll see you on the next one.